Hey guys, my name is Anush and I welcome you all to the VFX tutorial. Today we are going to see what exactly we can do in merging and we, uh, what is King tool or King techniques. In King we are going to replace Sky. So it's uh, that technique is also called as Sky replacement technique. So let's see first of all what is merging. So let's open Nuke. Hope so you guys are working on new Nuke 9, which is the latest version. So I have already opened. Go to the Windows and start with Nuke 9. So let's see today. We are for let's see our first topic that is merging. What is merging? So merging is apply applying anything over anything. So for example, if you are having a background, so let's take a background. We Let's take something, yeah. We have this image. Let's take this image, press one so that that image can be visible. Now, this image, and we have to apply something. This is our background. Now, we want a foreground, so for applying it, we need one more image. So, let's take stop this image. So, we have to apply this image on this background so there's a tool called merging uh, if you press tab you'll get all the list of the tools so M E R merge there's a merge tool this is the first option second option is you can directly press M you will get a merge tool now this is A over B now what is A and what is B so B A is we have to apply A over B see B can be your background and A can be your foreground this means you have to apply the foreground on your background that is A over B let's press 1 and we have to transform it for transform we have transform node otherwise a short form for this is T you can reduce the size you can put it you can reduce your size yeah now we will see exactly this how the merging techniques work now this kind of thing the, uh, the white spot or something comes because this image is JPG image uh, so it's a PNG image and the image it comes so for removing that kind of thing there's one more note called pre mult if you type pre mult that unwanted thing will be removed so yes this is the merge tool this is very important tool for in do for doing VFX because uh, this we need it in men in each of every aspects because what exactly happens if you are taking some uh, uh, in our next topic also we are going to need it because we are going to use two keys for removing sky replacement uh, in that we need merging because we have to apply sky we will be getting a footage of sky we have to apply on that original footage so this work we have to do is so hope so you guys have understood how merge merging technique is used or how merging techniques we can use it how it works so now let's move to the another part that is king or sky replacement what I can do is I'll delete this that will help you out so for example I've made a sky replacement footage for you that will help you out more clearly to understand more clearly so let's see first this is our original footage now we have to replace the sky and the sky is this so we have to replace the sky now it is done in this way so the sky is added the unwanted part has been removed this technique is called king technique or sky replacement technique so how does it works how it will work uh, or how we can do it so let's go to our new file so let's import some images that will help you out so you must be knowing what exactly how to import images 
that is you have to press R you will get a read note from where the image which you, where you have stored you have to just click here open your image will be get open but I mostly prefer drag and drop it's the easiest way to get the images so let's try to do sky replacement we have this two footage one uh, is the main footage that is we will call this as a background and this as a sky so what we have to do is we have to change this sky with this sky it's the easiest way very easy way to do not be panic uh, it's it's really easy but before starting let's notice one thing we have some color difference into our sky can you just notice this this portion this portion is really dark darkest portion of the sky and if you come here there is a lightest portion this portion is very lightest even this portion is lightest so if we are replacing or if we are changing the sky we have to use some keying technique keying means removing of blue screen removing of green screen this all technique comes under it so let's take one node that node name is key light we have it key light this is the node exactly yeah. this is your bg out background this is out this is in in mate out mate and this one is source source means you have to connect to your original footage and this three we do not need it now you don't have to worry about this three will see of the this three pipes will look at it afterwards so do not be panic or do not take tension about this three nodes now what exactly this we have connected our source to the main footage now we have to change this color exactly we have to remove this color so screen color what screen co which color we have to remove this color so go here now if you'll press your mouse left click or you if you'll drag you will not get any changes for this you have to press control shift and then drag it now you will get some results now this is what you can get it now screen there's an option now we have to remove this or uh, we have to make it black we have to remove this cloud so there's a option called screen matte go there click black increase it that will increase our black amount yes that will increase our black amount now this color get changes this is the different color so go to our alpha channel yes this is our alpha channel now increase our white decrease our white so that you will get more white options more white things yes now it seems it's clear we don't have to worry about it and yeah we have to remove this part also now how we can remove it what is the next option yeah we can take one more key light now if you press tab the previous key or uh, the previous node was key light itself now if you press tab you will get that itself so press tab again so you'll get that node again itself press one so yeah you will get the second key light now how to now just focus on this part we have to take this color out yes pass just be careful while removing the color uh, do not let it go outside yes now just decrease your white so that you can get more whiters yes yeah now this is a bit clear this is clear it's not bit clear it's good now two we got two key lights this key light one key light two we have two key lights now we have to mix the data or the calculation of this both key lights into one so we have another option called key mix 
which mix all your keys whichever keys you have done whichever things you have done it mix all your keys into one and the it will create less calculations also so if you use merge tool and you have the computer has to calculate from this then you have to merge it then you have to calculate this part also but in if in key mix what exactly it does this the cpu directly calculate the key mix part and go further now let's concentrate how to connect it a is for after b is for before just consider it a a and b before which key light we did before this one key light one we did before so connect b to key light one and a to key light two that is the after one connect one now we uh, there's the cursor is there this red part is how to remove it press control and click outside so that part will be that you will not see that part now there's a problem again so we have removed this key or uh, we have removed our key light or we have done this black but it's not same it it's not looking or we cannot see black portion in here the you must be thinking the key light is not working no we have to as i said this works on calculation so we have to tell the computer which part we have to take and which part uh, is a key light one and which part is a key light two so how we can do is we can take a roto node for roto node it's a good option o press o you get a roto node and there's a rectangular tool in roto node if you'll click and drag get a rectangular node just press just define this area again the same node just to define this both area that this is the area which i have to connect and connect you will see this mask connect this mask to this the key light mask to the roto that means this portion of key light 2 is to be calculated it, it seems it uh, indicates that the key light 2 is to be calculated from here now we got our uh, we have done our key light portion we have just calculated uh, we have done everything now what exactly we have to do yes we have to add a clouds a clouds are ready over here so which is the tool we can use is yes first before this lecture before this uh, we learned merging merging technique so yeah we can take merge for merge we have option m directly press m now what exactly this is our background and this is our foreground so connect background to background connect a to the foreground and press one now there's a real real problem it's overlaying over i mean it's spreading out we are not getting a proper uh, even the size of this image is high so first of all we'll go state wise we'll reformat this or we can get this cloud to the original size of this cloud of this footage so for knowing the original size of this footage it is mentioned over here that is 964 into 503 this is the original size of this footage so there's an option or uh, there's a tab press tab there's a node called reformat yeah this reformat output format this is our output we have to get it to the original format how to do go here just find out the perfect format or the original format what was it 964 by 503 it's here yeah now we have got a proper image or something but it's it's a something wrong we can see because it's spreading out all over the image so this is because of the calculation uh, the calculation is getting more high and because of pre-melt the uh, technique also so before that what we can do is to make a computer work faster or uh, to make a calculation work faster we can copy this all calculation into one node so for that we have copy node press C O P Y copy we have got copy node it is A and B otherwise if you'll press K you'll get the copy node so A and connect this B I'm so sorry yeah. 
see now how I have done this. If you'll press control you'll get this diamonds. Just press that diamonds and use it what however you want to use it. So we have just took our we have just made it easy and just connect this B to this path. Yeah. So it's a easy technique. Now we can use pre mult P R E pre mult it's not happening, right? It's getting something wrong. Yes. This is because we connected our nodes merge node improperly. Because what we did, we assumed that this is our foreground and this is our background. But the exact thing is our clouds are our background and our node or the our footage is our foreground. So for that what we can do is we will just remove this nodes will connect background to the background that is the skies and R E to the footage and this is what will get a proper image or a proper sky placement now just we have to add this is press T for transform and check it little up so that it will look good yeah this look better so this is what we have our roto rotomation So this is sky replacement technique. So today we learned two things. One is merging, merging techniques, how to use merge, mer connect A to your foreground, B to your background and you will get a merge option. Second one is key light. Key light is, uh, is used for green screen removal, blue screen removal and sky replacement techniques. So we have just learned sky replacement technique. We have replaced a sky to a nice format and made it look good. So uh, next lesson what we'll, we'll learn about color correction. Now there's a huge difference between colors. So in our next lecture we'll look about color correction. Thank you for watching this video. Hope so you have enjoyed it. If you like this please subscribe this video. Thank you. Thank you so much.